Hello again, everyone. This is Friedrich bringing you another turn of War in the Pacific Admiral Edition. This is uh, February 24. We're watching the execution of. <clears throat> and one question that comes to mind immediately is where is KB? <clears throat> Last we saw was in the South Pacific, <clears throat> heard me, and now I can't see it anymore. So, mildly concerned, but still looking. All right, our SS Seal missed, and now we have some anti submarine fighting off of Peru. <clears throat> One hit there with depth, depth charges. <clears throat> and we find the same I-4 I submarine. Okay. All right, so the seal didn't make contact, at least with torpedoes. But now we're using deck guns from the perch, and the torpedoes aren't doing anything, it looks like. So, I don't, I don't know how these torpedoes are missing. I get if it says hit but did, hit but did not explode, but seriously, guys. Can't even hit from. Of course, I don't see the distance here. Okay, critical damage with the deck gun. Okay, the perch took a hit. Ah, carrying troops. It's only four shell hits, and it does not look like it's damaged enough to go down. So that's a shame. <clears throat> and probably just like the sailfish last yesterday, this is going to have to go back and replenish the ammunition. <clears throat> All right, and I, I'm bringing more anti-submarine assets here to uh, patrol around Numea, so that that'll be helpful, I think. <clears throat> I can't, I can't, I don't have enough air assets yet to do oh, anti sub patrols. I should say, I have some fl uh, a small, tiny group of float planes doing that, but that's about it for now. The I-25 Hmm Well He got a couple of shots off Before he ran out of ammunition and No one supported him So that's done Hit but no explosion that is fine. Uh, I, <laughs> explosion is better, but I mean, all those misses before, come on, guys. Okay, found something over there. All right. Trying to bomb these subs. I'm sure they're difficult to hit. But please stop reporting you hit them if you didn't hit them, right? Okay. Nothing doing, hopefully, with those bombers. Here's the guy in. Yeah. Looks like ground attack now. Shifting from uh, his base attack.
some Sally's coming in to hit, to, to hit us here. And these are, uh, well, it makes sense that they're ground attacks. But we don't have an air base for him to target. Or a port for that matter. Uh, just bombing here, it'll do nothing. We're hitting one division out of three, I believe. Two or three. And so if it knocks them out of move mode, it's just going to be only the 37th. Now this is bombing the base. I decided um, we can go for the base here with our liberators, which it did nothing. And then we can hit the ground troops with our heavy bombers. All right, now we're bombing his ground troops. Because why not? Disrupt him a bit, right? So this is the third SNLF, which is not his main thrust, of course. But severe storms hinder us from getting a uh, better effect on that. Uh, he is doing some uh, naval spotting it around Numea to find what we got down there. Looks like he's finding some things, so. He, the idea is to keep out of sight of, to keep my carriers out of his sight. All right, it's raining here, so I, did, I opted to not get my planes out that may or may not be the right decision we'll see yep took a damage on the ground oh well that was my mistake i was hoping the rain would help and it had been uh, but here he got a hit plus he hit the bit tore up the base just a bit he's probably this is a prelude for i'm sure an invasion all right, bombing of Singapore, 64 Sally, 44 damage. Uh, I won't be shocked based on what I've seen if all if all 44 make it back to base, but it would be nice if we got some ops hits off of that. Follow-up sweep, as usual. Those eight Oscars really don't want to get in there first. Okay, follow up Sally, all 22 damage. Lilies, okay, so here's the thing. You saw 22 Sally's, all 22 damage. 18 Lilies, none. So those Sally's are, I, I don't I don't get it. Magnets for anti-aircraft. All right. I believe we're doing recon over his units there in New Caledonia. Yeah. Hit but no explosion. <clears throat> Story of the day. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. Here's a deliberate attack at Gigayan. We do have supplies that we shipped in earlier. So that helps. But who knows? These guys have been holed up for a long time. They might just be ready to pack it in um, <clears throat> so let's see what happens here all right we hold fort level three they do reduce the fortifications but we gives us one turn mm -hmm. we have all sorts of terrain leaders for its bonuses but these malices to offset and we take a lot of destroyed here and hit him not so much. Now he took several engineers 
uh, and a lot of disabled, but <clears throat> so, uh, you know, about 80 or so AV here that he lost and we similarly lost that much, but he has more to, to give. All right. <clears throat> Environment attack here at Chusian. Okay. And deliberate attack here. This is where our guys just, I've been feeding them supplies, but they have nothing. So this should be a surrender right here. I am shocked. So we held. Um, I mean, we shouldn't have, but we held. <clears throat> Supply is terrible. Experience is terrible, of course. And terrain is a, is a, a boon. However, <clears throat> we would probably have more assault value except for the low supplies. But, well, we held. So, there you go. <clears throat> and this is going to fall, or it should. And we escaped to fight another day. Yeah, that won't, that won't last long. Uh, take a few out. But yeah, it's... Uh, Sumatra is all but one. Oh, well, South Sumatra is fully conquered. Then he still has to work up the north. Bombardment at Singapore. Okay, we're not even getting shots return fire here. <clears throat> All right, so uh, now that that's over, my goal is to fly down here and pick these guys up. Get them back to Fort Moresby. Because... We can use all the help we can get there. Mm. Oh. All right, Goron, Goron, hello, Goron, hello. All right, empty base. That appears to be it. Now our expansions. Okay, um, we'll have to get a good look at what's going on out here in the South Pacific when we get back into it. I'll take a look at other places that stand out, but for sure the South Pacific. Okay, some reinforcements. All right, be right back. All right, um, so I I just got in here and I remembered that I want to I want to bring my carriers up up and out um, and hit midway, and I think now is the time to do it. I may do a full speed and get in. Uh, there's no way. Let's see. Um, let's go right here. Uh, okay, so that's seventeen. The best I could do is, let's say, in this area, make it to here. And that's not close enough to get a bomb strike off. So it would take another turn to get close enough. But I want to get at these reinfor uh, what looks like reinforcement ships and sink them. Uh, but I want to do a follow-up amphibious invasion. Now, what makes me nervous is I don't know where KB is. So I'm, I'm going to have to think about this. And as we go around the map, maybe get some idea of where they might be. Uh, get a spot on them again. The last I saw, they were in the South Pacific. So I think it would take them a while to get up here. So uh, also, let's go ahead and take a look at our losses here. We had four operational losses, and he had six. 
total losses. Uh, what what did he lose? Sally's. So two to Flack and then two on their return trip. We lost three, it looks like, of our search planes due to ops losses. And he lost a couple of Babs. We lost a Catalina. And that looks about it. It must, it was a certainly a quiet air turn. No air combat, that's for sure. Uh, any ships recorded sunk last turn? Nope. So, kind of a slow turn all around. Um, he picked up a couple of bases, of course. And, uh, well, just point this out. This is another amphibious group. Uh, drop just dropped off the aviation base force giving us going to give us 90 aviation support so we'll have uh, right now we have 125 i'd like to stack up it, as much as i can based on the air airfield size which is, we're working on it i'd like to stack up as many of these planes as i can starting with the fighters get some air cover in case he tries to do anything with uh with a carrier, light or uh, fleet carrier. Um, but yeah, we should have come in here with our surface ship fleet. Yeah. So this is the fleet that went and bombarded Midway um, a few turns back, a few days ago. So I'd like to send it back out, do the same, only with uh, an invasion force behind it. So I don't know what he's doing reinforcing it, but we'll, we'll see if we can get some idea of what's there in, in the next few days. But to take a look down here, we did learn Pago Pago upgraded the air base, so that's good. Um, always good to see those kind of uh, uh, increases. Um, wait a minute. Okay. So, yeah. We have no aircraft here, but we can. <laughs> so, uh, but looking here, Numea, now our tanks made it here, and we did not bomb like I wanted to, so that he got in here with these sizable units. I don't like that at all. So all these guys are going to get in there under move mode, and he'll, he'll, he can do an attack. Um, so we'll... Get these guys into combat mode and see what we can do about holding that position. Um, yeah, these guys are only halfway, but they're still certainly slide in there next turn. So the best we can do is bomb them as much as we can as our units get in there with this move mode, unprotected move mode. Like I say, I'm not happy about it. But what am I going to do, right? Um, one thing I could do is paradrop a unit here behind his lines. This looks like a small unit, and I don't know how many. This is, let's see. This is how many. Uh, that's only like. I don't know. It feels like the most I could get is uh, like 100. Because I think this is two turns of paradrops. So that's 16 total squads. And if I dropped here, he, has, he would have more troops than me. So best I can do is just bomb this and hope for the best, I, th I feel like. Oh, I wish my planes flew. That's extremely frustrating. Extremely frustrating. So another thought is uh, we have the Boise here. Uh, nothing really else. I was going to say bring the Boise out and shell it, but it'll do like almost no damage. So... I guess it is what it is. He can attack our tanks and hopefully hopefully he doesn't have good anti-tank support and will and will uh, survive that hit. But like I say, the the problem is these guys are going to roll in 
under move mode so I, I really hate that this whole thing really frustrates me um, how it played out the bombing the bombing would have helped a ton here but well Okay, he still has some auxiliary, which he's using to scout, and who knows how far he's trying to spot things. So, if he's looking all the way down here, maybe I'm driving right into his spotting range. Maybe I should... Hmm. So, okay, here he is, right here. So he must be planning something. My my guess is he's he's my guess is he's landing here. I don't know why it's, it hasn't happened yet. But my but because of the range where he's parked, he might be aiming at Luganville next. So but he hasn't spotted my carrier yet. And I know where his are. So I'm certainly going to go f with my operation that I was talking about midway. That's a that's a no-brainer. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll have to see the effects of this if going in with move mode, how damaging that's going to be. But I'll certainly throw all my air units, everything I can, at this, um, at this guy right here, this hex. And my air units better be rested because they haven't flown in a long time, and it looks like they are. So the uh, these B17s are. I got fif all 15 of them ready to go. And, you know, 20, uh, 30, yeah, 30 some B26s. So, I mean, again, who knows about the weather? It's, it's frustrating, but I guess it goes both ways, right? Um, I'm just not sure about this move mode. That's making me nervous. Uh, I'll, I'll look up how how much more damaging it is to be in move mode. Maybe it helps that at least it helps that I'm in jungle. I, I hope. All right. I'll, I'll look at that later. I, um, I don't want to dwell on that. Okay. So he took, he took Milne Bay from me, this guy, he's still trying to get to this base, which is we're useless. I know. So, um, and I'll probably have to bring in something, a different air unit, to help with this, uh, um, help pick this, because uh, I want to pick up, let's see, he's not going to chase me here, I doubt. So I'm just going to, for now, this is what I'm going to do for now, because it's going to take him a long time to get over here. And I can figure things out by then. So um, let's set the objective here. And set all, set all the marks. And going to go over there. And uh, for now, we'll turn this off. They, they don't need to repair while they're uh, running out of supplies. So, yeah. We'll... I, again, I, I really want this because of the the guns and the um, aviation support, which I've already picked up. The rest of this, if it dissolves, you know, it dissolves. It was um, it was nice. It was nice while it lasted. Um, how much did we have we gotten of this? Some L some AAMGs some aviation supports already and regular support. So good. Uh, there's really nothing more to show. Um, I guess I'll say this, um, 
our, we, we did have some B-17s based at Townsville hit this. Uh, I'll probably, now that they've um, succeeded here, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, shut this down, train a bit more, and uh, we'll just... Um, We'll just stop for a bit. Oops. Yeah, these guys, I believe, were not training. Uh, I don't think it was ASW. Naval search, nope. Well, let's check. Naval search. We'll figure out a, a pattern for them. I doubt they're going to see anything anytime soon because the Japanese are not coming toward Townsville uh, that I know of. Well, but what do I know? So, yeah, uh, still, I feel like it's active because of all these ships, you know, ships here, here, and, and this over here was telling us that they found some battleships. Um, we've got ships moving around here. Uh, they've got ships here, ships here, kind of nonstop activity. But so while there's a lot of activity, it's not necessarily being directed at me. So I need to get this guy out of there. Um, he's already got an auxiliary. He just took it, so he must have, when he was doing his plans, he must have dropped him there. Um, but yeah. So, China, he fought, uh, he hit us here, but we're, uh, we held. We only knocked one of these guys out of move mode, so I'm probably going to stop my bombing missions. I won't stop the supply because these guys are going to need it to hold another turn although i doubt they will but in any case we'll we'll change these guys to um, back to training so so there's that but yeah okay well uh I'm trying to think. Uh, bringing nonstop supply here. Uh, still working on the, the bases here and here because why not? Until the Japanese cross that river, might as well keep building up. Um, but nothing, again, nothing stands out as exciting or important. I'm not seeing any key areas of contact i guess we had some up in here where the sea lion tried to kept missing this guy um no the seal seals good who is it perch okay where are you i believe it was perch right right here um, yeah, uh, it's time to go back to base for this guy, so, so let's go to base. All right, well, um, so, again, seems like there's, there's not a lot to look at, point out, um, uh, next time, hopefully there will be some positive good uh pro allied action um but i highly doubt it probably a lot of japanese hits where i'm not ready so until next time thanks for watching and thanks for your support have a good rest of your day and we will revisit this next time take care